When I decided to follow Christ, it was really embedded in my mind. It was a very uh, standout experience for me. Uh, I grew up in a Christian home, and there was a lot of talk about God and Jesus and following Jesus. I remember oftentimes playing basketball out in, in, in the backyard and going back, you know, maybe getting the ball because it had rolled down the street and maybe saying, you know, God, I want you to come into my heart. And because I, I knew that was something that I was supposed to say, but I didn't quite understand it. And I remember we got a hold of this VHS tape of some music videos from an artist called Carmen, which if anybody's familiar with music from the 90s, you know who Carmen is and you're just loving this reference right now. But he had this uh, song called In the Courtroom and we got a hold of this VHS of the, it was like a few different music videos for his songs, Mission 316 was one of them. And In the Courtroom really stood out to me. I remember watching that video and in it, you have this courtroom scene that, that lays out um, a somebody on the defense, you know, just a regular person, and Satan as a prosecutor. And Satan was laying out just all the terrible things that they had done to God. And it was very clear that this person had done these things and they were guilty. And so it seems like all hope is lost. Like this person's just gonna be convicted, end of story. But then in this, you know, the tables turn and Jesus shows up as the defense attorney. And you can tell Satan's like, worry he's like no 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 please don't you know and jesus lays out just the perfect defense he tells god the father he says hey i want you to pull out this book the lamb's book of life and i want you to see is his name in that book and then their name is in there and there's this huge celebration because you know it means that this person at one point earlier in their life had made a decision to follow jesus to put their trust in him that scene was so embedded in my mind. I remember watching that video, I'm sitting on the floor watching it on this, you know, VHS TV. And I remember going to my parents and being like, I understand this, I understand what Jesus has done for me. And I understand why I need him. I remember sitting on the floor with them and they're, you know, laying this out, telling me how I can, how I can pray and just what I, what I should say and how it's, it's more about my heart than, than what I actually say. I prayed to accept Jesus into my life, for him to forgive me of my sins and to trust in him. And that's something that I will always remember.